Well, good afternoon. My name is Dave. Uh, today I wanted to take a few minutes and talk a little bit about uh, using a vacuum chuck on a VB36. Sometimes when we hunt for things for the VB, it's uh, rather, rather expensive. And uh, there are a number of systems available. Uh, there's the one way, the hold fast, uh, and on and on and on. You can make your own, that type of thing. But I was looking for something uh, a little simpler and certainly a lot less money than uh, some of the things that are out there. So in the past, I used Harrison Specialties. Now, there's a gentleman named Kerry and his wife Ann own Harrison Specialties. And they produce quite a number of uh, things for wood turning, one of which is this vacuum uh, chuck. Now, it's all one single piece. It's made out of aircraft aluminum. It's all machined. And the only moving part is the shaft. It's on its own bearing. And all you do is thread this to your spindle. Of course, passing the, the rod through the lathe coming out at the, uh, at the wheel, the hand wheel. And then you hook up your vacuum to the back end. Now, for me, I use this uh, Robin Air two-stage vacuum pump. It's a 3 CFM. And it works just fine. It'll easily pull 27 uh, bar without a problem. Uh, the truck itself sells for $120. Uh, the manifold system, the gauge, the valve, and all of this right here sells for about $68. Excuse me, $59. And Kerry does sell the whole thing together as a system for $168. Now you don't have to use a, uh, a Robin Air pump, you can use your whole fast system or any other system you've got in place already, a gas pump, any number of, of things. Um, I learned to use the Robin Air and I've been using it for a number of years and uh, I like it, it runs quiet, it does the job and uh, I'm very, very pleased with it. Now the only thing I had to do to make this work was I talked to Kerry and asked him to put a longer rod on it. So right here from the very edge or the shoulder where it hooks up to the spindle from here to the end is 23 inches. Uh, the one he normally supplies, I believe it was like three inches shorter and wouldn't come through my hand wheel. So he very graciously simply added on uh, a longer shaft on here and it, it works quite, quite nicely. So uh, why don't I take a few minutes, turn things around and set it up so you can see what it is. And uh, I think you'll uh, be pleased that for, uh, like I say, about $170, you can set up a, a very easy, well-working system, okay? So I'll just be a minute and be right back. All right, here's the simple part. Simply threads to the spindle. Clean and neat, very nice. All right, then it comes out through the hand wheel. Piece of cake. Now, one thing that you'll notice, I've got the, uh, the door open. How did I do that so I get around the micro switch? It was very, very complicated. Well, let me show you. There we go, how about that? I did not want to have to drill a hole through the VB36 decal and destroy the door. So I came up with this very, very high-tech solution with the micro switch with a rubber band that usually goes around a broccoli stem and it works just perfectly. So real pleased with that, solved that problem. So the last step is a very, very complicated step of hooking the hose up to the rod that comes out through the hand wheel. All you do is slide it on there. Let's turn it on, give you a, a quick demonstration of how it sounds. Okay, I think it runs fairly quiet. I've got a, a bowl to chuck up here. I'll go ahead and turn the vacuum on. And add the bowl. Not bad. And then release the bowl. So, 
in a minute. I'll uh, go ahead and put it on the lathe, give you another show. Uh, I put this on the side of my grinder, a little pop-up table, that way I can put the equipment away as I need to. So let's uh, get it set up. Let me turn on the, uh, the vacuum pump. Alright, so we have reverse mounted the uh, bowl and its chuck. All we got to do now is bring it forward. There we are. Piece of cake. This bowl's been drying for a little bit. It is out of round, not a problem. Uh, maybe a slight adjustment, we'll take a look. But uh, that's how simple it is and how well it works right out of the gate. So uh, I think we've uh, shown that for very little money we can uh, set up a vacuum chuck without uh, any issues at all. Well, there we have it. So, uh, again, we can set this up for about $168, including the, the chuck, the uh, manifold system, and then whatever vacuum system uh, you have or wish to get. Now, I did this with the BB36. I first came across this when I had my smaller lathe, when I had my Delta and uh, I used it on my Delta for many, many years and uh, enjoyed it. Everything was very durable. The neoprene seal held up very, very well. Again, everything is nicely machined. So uh, my hats are off to uh, carry at Harrison Specialties. Now, uh, real quick, you can get uh, all of this on Amazon. Carry is linked up with Amazon, so you can just you know look up Harrison Specialties or vacuum chucks, whatever, and it will come up there. So you get your free shipping and all that. But I think it's worth it to, to go to Carrie's site, uh, harrisonspecialties.com, and take a look at the things that he's got. Uh, uh, I know in particular he's got the uh, deep hollowing arm. He's got a good idea on how that works. He has a Jacob's chuck that's free spinning. He's got a rechucking system that works very, very well. A number of carbide tools and whatnot. Pretty uh, interesting man. So also let me just say you can pick up the phone and call him and he or his wife Anne answer the phone. They're very generous with their time and they'll walk you through anything you need to know and uh, get things done for you. Okay so uh, that's another episode of Turning on the Beast and uh, I hope you found this informative and of course helpful and uh, I hope to see you again uh, in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.